Should you lie on your resume? Stay tuned to find out. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love the gold. Or you say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. This is a place for families that drive Camrys and go to Diz. My bad, guys, man. I forgot. I'm doing a video. Hey, appreciate everybody that's been subscribed to the channel. Um, Happy New Year. I'm just rambling. But uh, if you're interested in IT and cybersecurity news, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you share this on all your social media platforms. That's the biggest way you can help the channel. But. You saw what I was talking about in the beginning. Should you lie on your resume? And I really wasn't going to make this a video. Um, but I think I should because it's prevalent in InfoSec right now. And I had the experience with somebody that I felt like I need to do it. And if you're watching this, I don't want you to take it the wrong way. But I was, I held it together when I talked to you, but I was very upset afterwards when I replayed what I saw but should you lie on your resume honestly no um, pretty much this video stands from a, a thread I made about um, people lying on their resumes and you know in tech you know and they're probably lying to get to the top to to get a lot of experience and uh, it's not a bad it's not a good idea I can see maybe you you knew finesse maybe one year two year you know people play around with their dates or something like that but you know to falsify all the experience and then to not be able to, you know, explain anything on your resume, uh, that's that's tough. And you got to think about it. Um, it's a slap in the face. You got a lot of people out here that's working hard every day and out there labbing every day. They're going to boot camps. They're doing certs. They're doing everything. They're they're taking the route like I did. Like you know, they're taking just a regular IT job like help desk or or do, working in a knock or, or something like that. And they are trying to you know better themselves. And you get people, you know, who, who possibly get a cert or something and and lie all on the resume and no. Um, uh, this, unfortunately, you know, I dealt with a situation where, you know, they said they had seven years of experience in, in the field. And I'm really making this a teachable, teachable moment to let you also know, guys, if you come to me, I will never advocate to lie like that on a resume. Um, I'd rather be truthful with what the skills you already have and tell you what you should add than to tell you to uh, flat out lie. And the reason I say this is because this is an interesting field. This field is growing, it's enormous right now. And I get it, you wanna get the bag, but do it the right way. Prime example, let's let's make some analogies right here. Michael Jordan, Rip Kobe, LeBron. Um, do you think they got to where they are at now or where they were by, you know, cheating the grind, not pricing, not shooting, you know, thousands of free throws, thousands of threes, working on certain moves, adding to their repertoire all the time. No, that's putting in the ground, that's working on skills. Working on skills. You work on skills, it will keep on progressing your career. And the same way that I said that in, in sports, it's the same thing that happens in professional world in corporate America. Work on your skills. Lying only gets you so far. It may get you an interview, but then, like, when they see your resume, they're going to grill you. If, if, if they see, like, oh, okay, we got a senior level person here. Um, we're we're going to grill them. Like I told somebody on, on Twitter, grill it like chicken. Uh, my thread, mind you guys, uh, this thread I made on Twitter is taking off. Man, shout out to y'all on Twitter. Um, yeah, it's taking off. But, uh, for example, let's, let's, let's do a deep dive. And I wasn't lying on my resume, but I was overselling myself. So I can tell you only part of what may happen with just overselling yourself. It's not lying, but I've experienced me overselling myself, having a lot of crap on my resume that I couldn't explain. And they asked me about it in interviews and like, uh, well, I don't know, but I, I used to use it sometimes. I mean, I got it on there because I used it a couple of times, but I couldn't explain it. It's the reason why some platforms that I use at work on on my resume, because I can tell you what I use them for, but if I had to like go in depth about them and be like subject matter expert, I couldn't necessarily do that. Um, so I said that to say this, on your resume, only put things that you know about on there. A business, I know every job isn't going to want you. Let's, let's keep that in mind. You can have all the experience in the world. Sometimes it's just not the right fit. Trust me, you'll go through it. I have a video coming up about that. If you have stuff on your resume that you cannot explain at all, it's going to make you look very bad, very bad. Um, a company would probably much rather you be transparent and open 
about you know whether your strengths and with strengths and weaknesses are then you lying to them as for me right now it's roles that come across me and i look at them and if i don't think i'm a good fit i say hey you know i'm not good at you know these right here i'm good in this but i don't i don't know if i'll be the best fit for this role and that's fine it's good to it's good to do that you know where your strength at i mean you're just telling that straight up but if they want to hire you it's different Go that route instead of lying about it because, guys, we are in the age of all these breaches and things are happening. And for you to probably study a little while, get a cert, allow in your resume, and maybe um, job them enough to get a, a position, that's scary, especially if you don't know what you're doing. You're not only jeopardizing your career, but jeopardizing the whole team that you're part of career. Because if you miss something, it could affect everybody. And we all know. It's not just, I mean, of course you got money, money associated with a breach, but depending on how much money and then the company's reputation and then other things that come with the breach. I know I'm taking it to an extreme, but if something like that happened, you possibly put some people out of the job. And let me tell you this, you can't BS on these jobs because people who've been doing them a while can tell if you hadn't did it before. I personally experienced this, looking at someone who may have had this experience and I'm saying to myself, why are they asking these questions or why they don't know how to do this? Um, what's going on? And it's not about, you might think, well, everybody don't know how to use the same tools. And it's not about the tools, it's this. I'm gonna make a video on it, but your thought process and doing things is more important than knowing how to use certain tools. Even if you don't know how to use a tool, but you know what you should do next. Like if you lied about doing incident response, they'll know. But if you know how to do it, but don't know how to maybe use a certain tool they're using, but you say, okay, we need to go to this step. We need to do this, 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 and this to figure this out. They'll be fine with that. You didn't know how to use tool, but you had the right, you knew what to do, just didn't know how to do it. That's what's important, guys. You can't cheat the system. Some people have, and you know, if it always works out for them, cool, but it's not gonna work like that for everybody. And I don't want you to get your hopes up and you're wondering, oh man, I'm bumming interviews. I got a bum resume and, and I really, dig deep and ask you about your experience and you really tell me, I'm saying, oh, well, this is why. You're probably not as confident as you think you are when they're asking you these things. And, you know, just to have things you you never heard of, never worked on. Um, I, I posed a question to this person and asked them about something they had on their resume. And I said, you know, if I was to ask you about, you know, this certain technology, I think I asked them something about like an IDS. And I asked them, if the interviewer asked them, hey, have you ever installed, you know, one of these in a network and implemented one in a network? And they would say, well, you know, I would say, I don't know what it is or no. You know, that, that's a bad answer. You're leading those people on. And for a person who doesn't like my time being wasted when it comes to interviewing, and it could be another qualified candidate that needs the interview spot, you're messing some things up. I said this to say this, go back to the drawing board, be true to yourself, be honest, you know, tell them, you know, hey, I'm trying to transition. I don't have necessary experience, but I got the passion. I got the zeal. I want to learn how to be great in this field, but I don't want to lie about doing it. Because that situation, I'm going to just tell you right now, based on experience, they would be a senior level, a senior level person. But they weren't really senior. And listen, guys, you might not get the money you want in your first role because you might not be that valuable yet. But you put that year, year and a half, two years in, You'll be good to go and you'll keep on learning. You'll be able to name your price better. So, you know what I'm saying? Put in the work. Look, you look at the, I'm going back to athletics because this is thing, it's easy for y'all to understand. It's in the public eye. All these guys on their rookie contract and stuff like that. Then when they when they either get the extension or the deal, it's way more. You know why? They prove themselves. Prove yourself in order to get paid what you want to pay. Prove yourself in order to get that position. Don't lie about it. Because I'm telling you, the community, I'm gonna tell you guys, especially for black people in tech, it's not as big as you think. It's not a lot of us. We know, and word get around, oh, I work with them, or I remember them, what is it? Word gets around fast. If you don't know what you're doing, it can stop you from accelerating. So look, make sure you uh, do what you're doing. Uh, if you don't agree with me, you know what I'm saying? Please let me know in the comments below articulate it uh we won't get nasty if you get nasty i'm gonna boot you out of here just because you know everything is a teachable moment and, and i said this to be teachable i didn't want to be you know malicious or anything or, or down talk anybody but you know that's that's my feelings on it if you do want to schedule a consultation with me you already know what to do textualconsulting.com i had the links in my description as well that way you don't have to migrate there it could be 
These are two clicks of a button. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow me on LinkedIn. And yeah, man, I appreciate all you.